It's the process that's supposed to change Common Core, maybe even get rid of it altogether. Proponents describe it as transparent and democratic, but opponents call it a sham. I, among many others, fear that uh, in the final analysis, this will result in nothing more than basically a rebrand of Common Core. The process establishes four new education committees with 100 members total. It'll be up to them to review and remake state education standards, and every step of the process will involve public input, with open meetings held in every region of the state. I don't think it's a sham to have an open... Uh, transparent process. After the committees are done with the standards, it'll be up to the next legislature and governor to approve them. If this doesn't happen, then the whole process will start over again. So to truly get rid of Common Core, it'll take the public, the state school board, and lawmakers to unite and oppose the controversial standards. But chief opponents fear this isn't possible and the reforms will likely be watered down. Really, that's not going to be sufficient. Um, since the Common Core standards are perceived as the problem. So it could be some time before real changes are seen. Mark Armstrong, WBRZ News 2.